This is now the five minute tarot for the 24th of January 2017. And in the last few days, I've been looking at a card, a card on its own each day. And I thought I'd change it a little bit this time for today and the next couple of days by looking at um, a past, present and future spread for a woman in her mid thirties. And it's about, there, there isn't, it's not that um, precise a question. It's just like, a past, present and future spread. So we're going to get an idea of what has been going on, what's going on now and what the likely future or um, coming circumstances will be. And we'll, we'll, we'll look at each card individually and then we'll do probably um, something with all three together. And it's to give you an idea of the kind of, of the way to actually do a reading for somebody and the kind of thoughts that the reader can think and to see how we can put together, um, not a message, but how we can put together an interpretation of the cards that have been chosen. So the first one, um, if you th it's, it's, it's going to show the past, and the past can be something that the person recognises. The thing is, if, if you're even 15 years of age, the past is, a, you know, a lot has happened. And it's going to be very difficult to sum that up with one card, but that's all we've got at the moment. So the card for, for the past can represent something that the person already thinks or thought was important, but it could also be something that the person tended to ignore or disregard as being unimportant. So what we do with the first card is we turn it and we take a look at it and we see what it shows and then describe it even if it seems unimportant to the questioner, it's what the tarot is giving us, right? So the first one that I get was seven, <clears throat> the seven of pentacles reversed. So this is for the person in the past. And we, what do we say about this one? We don't look up the book. We look at the card and we look at the picture and say, this card shows somebody thinking, but it's upside down. So in the past, you didn't think things through. And that can be, I mean, that, that's, that's an important point. So it may be that you did think, because we didn't think, or you didn't think things through, you maybe acted rashly or impulsively or without really understanding what you were letting yourself in for or what you, you were getting involved with. And it's a, as a general statement, um, we're saying you didn't think, not that you should have thought things through. We're not saying that. All we're saying is you didn't. The, the card shows somebody thinking, but it's upside down. So you didn't think, which may, may or may not turn out to be good, or it could turn out to be bad, because, you know, not thinking is sometimes a good idea, because we can overthink things. But in this case, the Seven of Pentacles upside down, you didn't think things through. Pentacles is v money, but it's also values. So with this, because it's money, it could be that you bought things that you didn't really think about. You bought things that you didn't need or you spent too much money on stuff that you really, it was kind of a waste of money. That's one possible meaning of the Seven of Pentacles. And if you're actually talking to the person, if the reader can trust him or herself, that they're going to talk about what's, what, what's important, of what's going to turn out to be important from the point of view of the questioner. So just turn the card and start speaking. Even if you're not sure that you've nailed the, the exact specific meaning. So uh, pentacles represent money. So it could be that you overspent in the past, but pentacles also represent values, what you care about, what you know that you want, what you've thought about, and you've decided that you actually want to do or that you want to achieve, or the kind of life that you want, whatever whatever values happen to be, kind of people you want to hang around with. Somebody recently, I heard them say something about, if you want to know what you're like, you take the, you think about the four or five people you spend most time with, and you're like a combination of those four or five people. So if you don't like yourself at the moment, change the people you hang around with, and that'll produce a different you. So coins is values. So it can be that you, the, the questioner, 
got involved with things that really didn't suit them because the people and the situation wasn't in harmony with her values represented by the coins. So either um, uh, she didn't think it through or she wasn't aware of what she really cared about or she ignored what she really cared about and went for it anyway. Okay, th there's always going to be more to say, but I have to be aware of five minute time frame. So I've probably gone over the time, but I'll stop now. And tomorrow we'll look at the card for the present for this person. Okay, bye bye.